welcome back to Gather for Magic. Today we're going to be taking a look at my bioactive cricket, cockroach, uh, and about a billion other things, terrarium. Uh, thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoy. All right, so here we have a view of my bioactive feeder terrarium. Uh, you can probably see a few little crickets running around here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reveal some of the other creatures that happen to live in here and kind of show you how this whole system works. I have a small container here of their protein food source, um, which is just tadpole pellets uh, for feeding frogs or tadpoles. Um, you can see there's broccoli here. I like uh, there's little pieces of carrots. Um, a lot of people will remove them after a while. I do not because I have uh, springtails and isopods within here. So let's go ahead and look a little deeper. In here, you can see there's you might be able to see there's many baby crickets running around. see what we have under here sorry for the shaking here we have some cockroaches being revealed I wonder if I'll find the one that has a uh, there's one of these guys that has a jack-o-lantern face on the back of their head all right so now we're getting a little deeper come on little buddy let's go for a ride oh almost lost a cricket there <laughs> I have a uh, dish of moss. I'll show you the other side of the container here in a minute. But under here we have some crickets and roaches. Oh, I hope I haven't been shadowing the entire thing the whole time. Let's see what's under here. Got some more roaches and crickets and there's some of the isopods kind of get a look there some of the isopods and roaches running around oh <sighs> yeah there's all sorts of leaf litter down here plenty of isopods down within the leaf litter All sorts of roaches. I have a uh, cuddle bone in here. Let's see, a little piece of the cuddle bone there. Helps with the exoskeletons of all of your insects. They'll all munch on it here and there. And there's a bit of a food system, ecosystem in here. As any of my feeders pass away, they can be taken care of by the detritivores. <laughs> look at me being a, a jumpy wuss. Let's look under here. What do we got? Oh, all sorts of baby crickets under there. Oh my goodness. There is one darkling beetle in here just because uh, one of the batches of isopods that I had purchased happened to come with a mealworm in there. So I decided, hey, let's just, uh, let's just pop them in the ecosystem tank and see what's going on. Yeah, I have, uh, there's seashells in here which are full of little baby crickets um, we have geodes which the crickets like to sit on and hide in I bet there's a good bit of isopods on the bottom of here oh yeah check that out hopefully we can get her to focus Look at all those isopods and a big old cockroach. So 
So yeah, that's uh, just a quick look at what's inside of here. Um, I might as well just show you the water dish. So it's not a traditional water dish. I have this, it's actually an old ashtray. I filled it up with some uh, sphagnum moss and I just go ahead and make sure I wet that down every now and then to give them some moisture. That entire area is just covered in isopods underneath of where the water sits. So yeah, they have a full diet. Uh, protein, vegetables, I throw some fruit in every now and then. Um, there are detritivores. Uh, crickets are somewhat omnivores. Uh, so they'll eat a little bit of everything. But as long as you give them some protein, they tend not to eat each other so much. Which I know is an issue that people have had. Um... Yeah, so let's get a look at the soil. So this is one of my favorite ways to get a look at the creatures inside is from a side view. You can see some of the uh, scaber isopods that I have there. Uh, there's a mixture of a bunch of different isopods within the tank but we can take a look at the soil itself which you can see is generally moist to the top a little drier than the bottom let's see if we can find any of our soil inhabitants um, there have been some intruders in the lands so to speak I have seen some centipedes here, which can be concerning. But we're not seeing too much right this second, not too much action. So that's, that's good. But right at the soil level, that's where there's always some crazy stuff going on. All sorts of, uh, there's a cricket just kind of having the time of his life. Sorry about the shaky camera, I'm just freehanding this and my hands shake, but if you have So here's a peek at the water dish side of the enclosure and just to give you an idea of what's going on under here. <laughs> yeah. There is just life all over this enclosure. There's actually um, slugs. I've seen slugs. There's snails. Uh, there's probably things I don't even know about living in here. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. And I hope you enjoyed all the cool little critters we have in that uh, awesome bioactive tank. Uh, if there's anything you think we should add or anything you think we could improve upon, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please.